Hey everyone, great to have you joining me for today's podcast. Before we get started, just a reminder to please subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as remind all your family and friends to check out this podcast, which comes your way each and every week. And you can uh, check it out on all of the podcast platforms, whichever is your favorite, you'll find it there. I'm Sharon Caddy and always interesting topics here. Now, the, this topic today, I've been so excited to delve into because um, I don't know about you, but have you ever either been in your own property and kind of, you get a feeling and you can't really put your finger on it, but there's a feeling or you've gone in a place and you're like, mm, not a great place. No particular reason for it. Well, there may be a reason. And I've got someone with me who we can talk all about it and things you can do about it. I want to welcome Jay McKenzie from Jade Intuitive Service. Jade, great to see Jay rather, great to see you. <laughs> Hello, Sharon. It's great to see you too. Not to worry. Everybody uh, translates my name back and forth from one to the other. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, <laughs> as we get into the things today, I just sort of want to start by just having you introduce yourself in terms of who you are and what you do mm -hmm. and your gift. Thank you. That sounds fantastic. Um, well, as uh, as you mentioned, I'm Jay, and what I do um, primarily is that I am an energy specialist. So, energy specialist means I'm working with energy. I'm uh, clearing spaces. I work with a lot of real estate agents and brokers, both here in Canada. <clears throat> across Canada, Ontario, the States, the US. I do clearings both in person and at a distance. And I'm also a Reiki master, which is a form of holistic healer. And I'm utilizing that as well in my clearings. And I'm the positivity coach. So bringing some positive and sparkly energy into our world. I think that's uh, needed quite a bit right now. And um, in addition, I'm a medium, but I think we're not as much focusing on that today, but um, primarily those are the things that I do in this very amazing career I'm honored to have. Oh, and it's great to have you along today because energy and you really as an energy, as someone who deals in energy, energy is such an influencing factor more so than a lot of people even stop to recognize or realize. And I know you and I were chatting on the phone the other day about, you know, when we talk about someone coming in like yourself to perhaps do a clearing at a, a property, a building, a business, a house, um, people think, ooh, ghosts, ooh, haunted, ooh, demons, but... <laughs> <laughs> and maybe, maybe, but there's all of that. <laughs> but there's sometimes there's just it can be a positive or a negative energy in a space, right? Yes, absolutely correct. Um, energy in a space um, <clears throat> is most often what I encounter for sure. There are ghosts that often haunt the places, and um, I've tangled with more than a few of those. But as you say, Sharon, absolutely. It's often just a matter of, of energy, positive. Um, usually I'm leaving alone, right? We want positive energy. It's the negative energy that right. I'm seeking to remove. So if someone steps into a home and you, I'm, in my opinion, you can you can often feel when there's a negative energy, even if it's subtle, it's there. But is it generally something that's from left from previous occupants or is it something that can be inherent to the, pro the building, the land? What is it? Um, excellent question, Sharon. It's actually um, all of that. Okay. It's very often energy that's left uh, from the people that are there. That's just what we do. When we live in a space, we leave our energy, or as I say, um, it's left in the walls and then it's actually coming back out. So things like um, for the purposes of homes and sometimes businesses, if you have something like uh, a divorce or very strong emotions that have happened in the home, illness, that kind of thing, that's leaving a very, very strong energy map. So that's often what I'm called in to remove or to change, if you will, to turn from negative into positive, because that's when people will feel comfortable. That's when they're buying the place. Uh, there's many different things to it, but as the beginning, that's how it works. And as you say, often in the land too, makes me think of a uh, cottage that I cleared a number of years ago, very large, 10,000 square feet, oh, if I'm wow. remembering correctly. 
yeah, it was uh, it was an all day uh, all day affair, and the people that hired me really thought initially that it was just the house. Um, not only did I discover there was energy, there was some ghosts to cross over and remove, but there was also a lot going on with the land, respect for the land. Uh, there'd been native people that lived on the land. So it turned out to be a lot more that I needed to do. And that is often the case. A clearing is multi-layered. And when I get there or do it at a distance and investigate it in advance, then I'm knowing what it is that I need to do and, and where is the energy trapped? Where do I, I want to move it? Okay. So everything you said uh, is correct. <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> so when, when you go into a property or when someone, let's say someone's bought a, let's say someone's bought a, a home and they move into that home yeah. and they never quite feel right. They never do anything about it, but it's there. How can a negative energy impact a person, a family, a visitor even, um, just by being within that presence? Well, um, negative energy can translate um, firstly as a feeling, as not feeling comfortable, um, as just feeling that something is off or sometimes a feeling that someone is being watched. That happens particularly when there's a haunting and there's a spirit or two hanging around. But why moving on energy and particularly moving on trapped spirits is so important is because it can affect people's actual health, your physical health as well as your mental health. If let's say there is a spirit or a ghost there, what's happening Sharon is they can open and close doors, they can turn on and off lights, they can mess with electrical equipment, wiring, even stoves. There's been a lot of instances where they can actually turn on and off the stove. So removing that energy, clearing it is so important. And it affects all guests. Uh, a lot of the clearings I've done over the years, people will say, you know, nobody wants to come over. People yeah. don't want to be here. My family and friends um, aren't coming or certainly they don't want to stay. Um, I remember one clearing in particular where the people didn't even feel it was their home. They couldn't put any pictures up. They felt so unwelcome uh, because the homeowner that died in the home was actually still there. So oh, wow. once I uh, moved to Maud and, and did um, all kinds of things to change and fix the energy, uh, they were just so thrilled telling me it finally felt like their home. Now they could have their family and friends over. So that's a little bit about how it affects everybody, especially those that live there and I know that you also not just do homes but businesses as well and it as we discussed the other day and then I got to thinking it reminded me when I was a kid grew up in Hamilton Ontario and used to ride the bus all the yeah. time and and there was a business yeah. and I remember going by and it was on a corner and over the course of years it, it seemed to close and open and close and open different things and cafes and restaurants and, yeah. and a business center for at one point and it never stayed open plus more than a few times because i remember you would get the newspaper every day and more than a few times a vehicle had driven through the windows of this place on the corner and it kept happening wow <laughs> can this like maybe is this a situation where maybe they should have had things cleared because it sounds like it, it's everyone was encountering the same problems no matter what business was in there Yes, absolutely, Sharon. I'd say um, you you uh, nailed it on the head for sure. <clears throat> All of the things that you just said definitely signal to me that there is an energetic problem with the space itself and possibly with the land, for sure, evidenced by no business can stay there. Um, businesses are not thriving and being successful. So uh, yes, what they would do would, uh, would be <clears throat> ultimately, hopefully to call me in to come and do a clearing. That's exactly what they're for is to change the energy and also to bring in prosperity, abundance. That's part of what I do is people will tell me what their intention for their business is. In fact, I'll tell you a little story, if I okay. may, while we're on businesses. I did a recent business clearing and <clears throat> the people had had this business for 36 years and it was transferring over to one of the brothers who was a little bit nervous about you know, taking it on himself and, and there would be a lot of changes inherent there. So they asked me to come in and do a clearing. So I spent basically the entire day there. There was clearing the energy. There was um, some 
deceased loved ones of himself and his family who came through. I also was able to clear all the spaces where the employees um, themselves worked. And the end result, this was the first one that I did a um, little over a year ago. The reason they called me back is he and his wife told me that after my clearing, they had absolutely the best year they've ah. ever had in the 36 years that they were in business, wow. which I was quite thrilled to hear. Yeah, um, <clears throat> my clearings are very... Um, they're very specific. They're very multi-layered. Um, I'm doing top to bottom and every single corner. So yeah, that was a positive result. And of course, wow. they asked me to please come back in because it had <laughs> um, so much good that came of it. So in that case, I'm putting in intentions. Intentions now, of course, for good health, intentions for prosperity and abundance. Um, unity with all the employees whatever they'll ask me to do is part of my own unique stamp where i can place those intentions and basically i'm allowing the business to be more successful by what i put there into the space if that makes sense it does um i want to delve a little bit into something that's somewhat darker you worked in real estate for a time before um going full into what you are doing now um so you i did i did indeed the the effect that stigma can have on a property and often people will see there'll be a house listed and it's listed pretty far under what it's worth and usually it has to do with the stigma whether there's been um, violence uh, there could have been a death a suicide of some sort like something really a bad mm. bad thing attached to that yep. house in, and yes I would just wonder I mean a stigma can stay with a property just in people's minds but um, is it ever possible to completely clear um, a home after such deep negative stuff has happened in it? Um, well, uh, the answer to that, the truthful and real answer is yes and no. It depends okay. on what's happening there. Um, so first of all, let's start with um, you stigmatize properties. I'm very often called in for those. Uh, in fact, I'm referred to as calling in the big guns, um, <laughs> specifically for, yeah, <laughs> that's what people will call it, um, just because of the skill set um, that I bring with it, the intention um, and what's happened. So the things that you mentioned um i actually was interviewed for by real estate magazine for just that stigmatized properties if there's been um a murder very very dark energy yeah. if there's been um a suicide most definitely uh that will leave one of the darkest energy maps uh of course and if you think that really these are just people that are trapped so my coming in and listening to their story and helping them um, and moving them on becomes really important, but also changing the energy in the space because yeah, it clings yeah. in the space and everything that's in the space. So it will affect the people that live there. So I'm often clearing it before it actually goes up for sale. A lot of agents and brokers call me even before they list it, or certainly once it's listed and it's not selling. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. using my background uh, as an award-winning real estate agent, I actually um, gave that up for doing this work, which I recognized was my path. So I work with a lot of agents and brokers doing these types of clearings. The reason I say yes and no is, it depends on um, the level of negativity, if there's a malevolent energy there. And sometimes, frankly, that is happening. Um, that can be very difficult. Um, sometimes that's even a little bit dangerous for somebody with my abilities to go in because they're specifically interested in people like myself. So mm -hmm. there are a very, very few instances where I'll suggest to someone either um, perhaps don't buy this house let's look to a different one um, or for the people to actually move thankfully that's rare because normally i can change it and bring in positive and sparkly energy and and basically fix it but honestly there are a few instances um or that will require a different skill set um i don't do 
um, exorcisms or anything mm -hmm. that's like that with a really, really dark energy. And yeah, right. sometimes that can be encountered, but thankfully not too often. So just popped into my head now. So if someone's looking at a home and I would imagine, I mean, any age of home, but let's just say um, a century home somewhere, a beautiful home that someone goes in and they want to buy it, but they're a little uncertain because it is as old as it is. It's had as many residents as it has. Um, if some, if we put in a condition of inspection, that could include an inspection by yourself, right? Where it wouldn't necessarily go do the clearing, but you could go in and kind of do the inspection and say to the people, okay, yes, no, would you, would you do something like that? Yes. Um, fantastic question, Sharon. Um, I would, and I do that. I'm often called in, um, not just by the real estate agent or broker, but I'm often working with um, buyers and buyer agents for sure. And coming in more as a consultant mm -hmm. to check out the energy, uh, to see what it's like. Um, is it favorable um, or that yes I'll change it and hey it's not necessarily favorable now but I but can, can make it favorable for them yeah for sure so um, yes yeah, so I'm called in to do that and often with um, out-of-town properties or very large properties I do um, often clearings of four five seven thousand 20, 25,000 um, square foot homes, oh, wow. businesses. But of course I'm doing smaller ones and, <laughs> and condos and you know everything in between. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I take that very seriously. You know, the importance of giving someone a comfortable, happy and livable home um, is really important. And of course now, if I may say a, a little bit um, about the pandemic that we're all going through oh, yeah. and, and it's just difficult and there's so much uncertainty, there's so much fear energy and the two strongest energies on our earth plane here are fear and love. So what I'm bringing in is love, respect, mm -hmm. kindness, positivity, sparkly. And nowadays, the clearings are including, you know, removing um, COVID fear energy, mm -hmm. or if someone has been sick in the home, one of the uh, real estate agent salespeople that I've worked with for, you know, I'd say about 11, 12 years now, when the pandemic first started, one day she said to me, Jay, I think you need to do a clearing for the world. Yeah. So, which uh, I felt quite honored. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, and because I was just watching the U.S. presidential inauguration just mm -hmm. before our podcast, um, I'd like to just say a, a couple of words on that. First of mm -hmm. all, to welcome in the new President Joe Biden and the First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden, the new U.S. Um, Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh, it's wonderful and you know, they're, what they want and what they're speaking of is unity, peace. That's what they want to bring in, togetherness. I love how the two of them talk so much about the soul of the country because that really is so accurate. So mm -hmm. um, I'd love to go in and do an actual clearing for the White House, one of the most important homes in the United States, uh, just to bring in the intentions that um, President Joe Biden is asking for, unity, peace, togetherness, a fresh start, um, sparkly, positive energy, taking out old, um, you know, just stale energy, which can be, you know, not of a person, but just things that are in there, um, conversations that transpired, whatever it is, can be changed and freshened and, and brought in anew. So oh. <laughs> there, there, we've thrown it. Uh, I would love to go and I'd be so honored to clear the White House. So truly any house you'll do. Um, now, here's one for you. Oh. <laughs> Let's say I'm working with buyers. Um, when I take buyers yeah. around to look at potential places they may want to live, it's funny. There are some that are not so much, but most people that you take in are often dazzled by the staging and oh, look at the lights and the, the yes. couch and the and this and that and the other thing. <laughs> and they're not necessarily that's the idea of the staging. <laughs> yeah, but not really stopping to feel the house. Um, what are some tips you can give to people to kind of like okay, you, you're going to be hit in the face with this wow, this looks fantastic. looks like a magazine shoot for yeah. a, a decorating magazine. But <laughs> how do you, how do you get your mind wrapped around? Okay, let's just stop for a second and take in the space. How do you, how do you coach people to do that? I'd like to know so I can help them. 
Yeah, um, absolutely. Very good question. I would say the first thing, Sharon, that um, people want to do when walking into a space that they're considering buying or um, you know having having a serious look at is you want to feel the space um, and that is you're feeling it with your gut right or um, or your intuition or of course you know as as we women call it um, women's intuition which is a real thing looking past what you're seeing and and how beautiful and lovely and and it's staged like a magazine feel um, what they're feeling when they walk in so what that means is when they walk into the house they're thinking to become their home do they feel comfortable or is there something that maybe mm, they feel not so comfortable when they walk into different rooms something just doesn't feel right um, now of course that's when I'll be called in because in almost all the cases I can change that but paying attention to the feelings as you and your clients walk from room to room that's the best first thing that I would say <clears throat> tuning in with all of your senses right not just our fun five senses, but using the sixth sense to get a real feel of what's going on. Because usually when we stop and we're a little bit quiet and we're looking at something from that perspective, that gleans so much more information. So that's what I would suggest is look past what they're seeing, um, often to what they're hearing, what they're sensing. When I come in to do clearings, um, I'll figure out pretty much right away if the real estate agent hasn't told me the first thing i do is a walkthrough often i'm picking up something that happened in a particular room i can mm -hmm. feel fighting let's say in a bedroom i can feel that someone wasn't well in a particular bathroom i once isolated um, a child's washroom and exactly what was happening in that washroom so as i move from room to room i'm able to tell the people what it was that happened and then of course they're confirming or with the agent so that feeling other people can do too you know maybe not right. as specifically as it's my job to do this professionally but you can feel things or just i would suggest the best tip is comfort not comfort yes no or you know how people will often say it feels like home yeah. you want that feeling that the place I will hug you race you and you'll be happy there that's what we want people to be looking for i've actually literally though had people bring me with them you go in and they'll say oh it's so cold in this house and i i'll stop and look at the thermostat and i'm like yeah. no it's not but if you're feeling cold <laughs> in the house that's not a good sign <laughs> um and i guess yes uh for sure that is such a such a great question yeah mm -hmm. um oh i was going to just just briefly continue with coldness can be not just a temperature thing um coldness is often if there's an actual ghost or spirit there they are literally um sucking the heat and the energy out of the room that's why people would feel cold or i think where you were going with it is it's a lack of feeling comfortable right it's the yeah. opposite to feeling warm and cozy and fuzzy is feeling cold especially it's if you look at the thermostat and 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 it's warm yeah but yeah, exactly. So I always take that as a kind of a sign as well. So I know we're gonna re in a short while run out of time, but I quickly wanna just touch mm. on, and we'll have to have you back again because there's like so much we can talk about. <laughs> but- That was um, good, I know, it's a, it's a very big subject. <laughs> totally, but I just kinda wanna touch on, so let's just say I've sold a house to someone and they are they feel it's okay, but they, they, want, they wanna bring you in. What can they expect when you come to see them um, in terms of, you know, is it a one visit? Is it a two visit thing? Like, do you do a diagnosis? Then do you do your thing on a different day? How do you do it? Um, okay, so here's how the process will work. In most cases where I'm working with real estate agents, of course, I'm working with homeowners too. And then they call me directly, Sharon. And, and obviously I go, I assess the place or now I can do an assessment <clears throat> and a full clearing at a distance. Of course, wow. I don't go to um, the States or Europe um, right now and, and even in the last years, I don't always need to do that because energy 
is boundless, right? There's no time and space, there's no distance to it. So I'll do an assessment with a homeowner, a walkthrough with a homeowner. Mm -hmm. um, primarily, I'm working with brokers and uh, real estate agents, as I think of you as my peeps. Um, so I will go in with you, we'll do a walkthrough together. The agent will have told me uh, what they were feeling, what the homeowner is feeling, their desires for um, for the sale. Mm -hmm. And as I walk around, I'm letting you know what I'm picking up. Usually people like to have pen and paper and make notes. And then I'm setting about with the clearing. So I do a several staged clearing. First, I'm removing negative energy. And then I'm looking to see if there's any ghosts or spirits. That's a, that's a different level that I then need to uh, to cross over. So that'll be um, that'll be a little bit more heavy duty. And then I'm bringing in the clearing aspect, right? That's the sparkly, the bubbly, the happy, the positive um, wellness, prosperity, abundance, and any intentions that the real estate agent asks for or the homeowner is asked for. I can do things like um, getting it to sell over ask. Of course, getting it to sell quickly, that's always mm -hmm. primary for real estate folks. Um, I often will feel that there's been a problem, let's say with neighbors, or there's a not very favorable view and they're asking me to diminish it. So the final part in the um, positivity part of what people often call a healing or a blessing to the space is I'm bringing in the specific intentions that will help it to sell and that will help the people that are living there and the new people that will buy it. It's also why I'm doing these clearings and cleansings and blessings when people buy new homes because you know we want to make it fresh for them. We yeah. want to um, like how you give it a good cleaning, right? You open the windows, you air it out. Well, I'm coming in and working on the energy in every single room to make it as favorable and wonderful and happy and healthy and positive for the new people as possible. Fantastic. Well, you know, we are getting out of time now, but I'll tell you what we're going to do is I'm going that to I'm, quickly <laughs> as I'm posting to social media and if they, I'm going to ask people if they have any questions they want to ask you. And then next time we meet, I'll bring up some of those questions maybe and we can chat about those things as well. What do you say? Yeah, that sounds fantastic. A okay. Absolutely great. I would love that. And thank you. It's, uh, it's been great and an honor to be here with you and oh. always love to talk about uh, energy, my favorite subject. <laughs> Certainly. Now, before you go, um, how can people reach you? Ah, well, um, thank you. They'll find <laughs> me at Jade Intuitive Services, and that's J-A-D-E, um, as my company name, even though my actual name is J. You can also reach me. Um, I love to actually speak to people. That That's our best way to connect. Mm -hmm. So um, please do call me at my home office landline. That would be 416-784-4120, or you can find me at Jade Intuitive intuitive at yahoo.ca that would be my website or um or rather jadeintuitive.ca jadeintuitive at yahoo is um is my email reach Excellent. me any of those ways or if they speak to you i'm sure you can pass them along to me i'll connect you i know how to get you uh, <laughs> so thanks again Sounds and good. thank you to everybody for listening a reminder once again please subscribe to the youtube channel uh, let all your family and friends know that this podcast comes your way each and every week it is open house and uh, you're always welcome in also visit all of my social media and we'll look forward to talking to you again soon